Why are India's neighbors resentful of its interference? It's a question that's been gaining prominence, especially with the rise of the India Out movement in Bangladesh and the Maldives. This campaign, primarily fueled by social media, calls for the boycott of Indian goods and strongly opposes India's perceived meddling in their internal affairs. This sentiment is not isolated, but mirrors a broader discontentment in the region towards India's policies. Indian External Affairs Minister Subramanyam Jay Shankar, in response, acknowledges that every neighborhood has its challenges. He emphasizes the necessity of mutual reliance, pointing towards the historical ties and geographical proximity that bind India with its neighbors. He suggests that despite the resentment, the intrinsic link between India and its neighboring nations may cushion the impact of such movements. However, the current wave of anti-India sentiment may not significantly disrupt regional dynamics. Yet, it serves as a stark reminder of the fine line between influence and interference, a line that India must tread carefully. The neighborhood first policy by the Indian government has been a subject of debate. Initiated under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's regime, this policy has intensified India's involvement in its neighbors' internal affairs. The policy aims to foster closer relations and mutual understanding among neighboring countries. Yet, it has inadvertently sparked a surge of resentment, leading to the emergence of the India Out campaigns in countries like Bangladesh and the Maldives. A critical aspect of this policy is the concept of Akhand Bharat, or Undivided India, a vision that hints at regional dominance and undermines the sovereignty of neighboring states. The idea of Akan Bharat is rooted in a historical narrative of a pre-partition India, a vision that many of India's neighbors find unsettling. The fear of losing one's national identity and autonomy fuels the resistance towards India's increasing influence. Yet, the Indian government defends the neighborhood-first policy, arguing its principles of reciprocity and benevolence towards neighboring nations. The policy, it asserts, is not about dominance, but about fostering cooperation and mutual growth. However, this assertion seems to clash with the reality on the ground, as India's neighbors perceive the policy as a veiled attempt at hegemony. The neighborhood first policy also has geopolitical implications. It reflects India's aspiration to establish regional hegemony, akin to the United States Monroe Doctrine. But this aspiration faces a significant challenge particularly from China, a major player in the region. Furthermore, India's own policies and mindset might be undermining its regional standing. Its perception of South Asia as its domain and the Indian Ocean as its territory reveal a hierarchical viewpoint. This perspective, reminiscent of a caste-based hierarchy, positions India as the preeminent power expecting obedience from its neighbors, a viewpoint that is increasingly being challenged by the post-colonial developments fostering a sense of sovereign equality among South Asian nations. In the end, the success of any policy depends on its acceptance by those it affects. As the neighborhood first policy continues to be a subject of debate, the Indian government may need to reconsider its approach and seek a more balanced, inclusive, and cooperative relationship with its neighbors. What then is the way forward for India and its neighbors? The first step would be for India to relinquish its hegemonic ambitions. By doing so, it would pave the way for a multipolar South Asia, a region where multiple countries share power and influence. This would not only foster a more balanced power dynamic, but would also promote cooperation and mutual respect among these nations. India's aspirations for regional dominance have created a sense of exhaustion, evident in its peripheral diplomacy. Instead of seeking unilateral control, India should focus on fostering relationships based on mutual reliance. Cooperation with neighboring states can help India navigate the complexities of its regional relations more effectively. India's political leadership needs to recognize that a sense of sovereign equality exists among South Asian nations. This shift in mindset could be the key to improving relations with its neighbors and, ultimately, securing a more stable region. By embracing cooperation and fostering a multipolar South Asia, India can navigate the complexities of its regional relations more effectively.